Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 51 of our Staxel playthrough. We have so much to do and to explore. I have mail, which I'm actually really excited about. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for all those that have been subscribing and commenting and laughing and messing with me and dorking around with me. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Westman too. For those that are wondering, feel free to call me Wes. It's just the channel name. Uh, we're playing Staxel. We have daily chores, we have seeds to plant, we have fossils to polish, we have rooms to build, we have mail to follow. Let's do this. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Sent us. Ice cream. <gasps> it's Raina, isn't it? So it's more ice cream. The rest of the letter is is formed in un unintelligible scribbling. <sighs> Naturally, I got all excited, and it's nothing more than spam. All right, we'll feed feed Olive, I guess. Let's go make sure Yoko has, still has food. This stuff's in the way now. Yoko, thank you for still producing eggs. You're such a good chicken. Even though it's winter, you're still giving us eggs. Oh, well. Not pointing any names, but uh, certain animals are out of their pen and not giving us any milk. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna do what a sub new subscriber that is suggested, which is maybe we need to pet them. Maybe we're just not showing them enough love, and, and because of such, they're, they're not producing any milk. So we'll just pet Moofin. Thank you. Go that way. Thank you, please. Moofin is content. Well, she better not be content. <gasps> Can I push her? Oh, that's new. I think. Oh heck yeah! I'm just gonna push her back in the pen. All right, Musala. Don't don't do this. Okay, move it. <laughs> there we go. All better. All done. Well, that was a lot easier than I expected, and a lot cheaper. Cause I don't, I don't know if I'm, if I'm the one that was in fault. But I always remember not being able to push animals, and that's the case. I don't have a pickaxe anymore. Oh, didn't I throw it on the ground? In a fit of anger. Anyways, you weren't able to push the animals, at least as far as I'm aware. And because of such, you had to buy a capture crate. And so there's... Let's put this painting somewhere. What do you guys think? Where's a good place for this painting? I want it somewhere, like, local. Um, Can we hang it up in our room, you think? But then we won't really see it, because we're never in our room. Uh, we don't want to cover up a window. I don't want to put it in the door frame. Can I put it right there? There we go. Look at that. That's not a half bad picture. I wonder who that is, though. That doesn't look like anyone I'm familiar with. All right. So, I forgot to tell us, like, what we're doing, but I kind of... What is that? That's exactly what I want. Triceratops. Heck yeah! And then the body of a Stegosaurus. Oh my gosh, those are both of the uh, dinosaurs that I was talking about that I wanted. Okay. So, I guess as those are cooking up and doing their thing... Uh, I had a, a question on one of my previous videos, which was something along the lines of, Hey Wes, if if the museum has to be, you know, or rather, how can I build the museum bigger if it's going to be outside the box? And so this is what I'm going to, I tried to explain, and I don't know about you, but I'm a visual person, and so seeing it makes so much more sense than explaining it in text, and so I'm going to do this, just this. So I'm going to toggle the original display. So you can see this bounding box, and this is what I was trying to, to talk about. In this bounding box, all that it requires is a roof of any block, two clocks, two large fish displays, two small fish displays, and two small bug displays. That's it. That's all it wants. Meaning anything I build is all extra. So for instance, all these all these mammoth, the mammoths and the different dinosaurs are all extra. The fossils and all that is extra, not required. Meaning I can knock off this wall, or maybe the middle of this wall create a hallway and then behind it build a massive massive um uh dinosaur display and so that being said subscribers and non-subscribers comment down below and i want to ask for your permission this game will allow me and i'd only do this uh one time what i'm about to explain and i promise you can change to creative and now creative gives you free blocks and now if enough people will allow me, my, what's the word, my proposal to you is if you give me permission, I will only use the creative feature to use it to 
build a bigger dinosaur wing wing and that would include the bricks windows and proper lighting and that's it once that's done i would go back into creative and i would not uh do it anymore and if you, some of you are uh, skeptical then also comment would you want it to be a live stream because i can do that as well meaning that it's live and so if i have a moderator or someone just watching the stream that's a subscriber then they would know what's going on and to make it easier i would subscribe uh, i would not subscribe to myself i would uh stream it on youtube instead of twitch so that would be the thing now if you want that a couple of ways comment is easier if you're not feeling commenting then leave a like so that i i can use that as, as a base for if you want it if you don't want that <laughs> i guess you could dislike i'd rather just have you say no in the comments just really easy um if, again if you're shy and that you don't feel like that's the thing then maybe just a period just a single period and then you have to hit enter and that's it and then you know i know that you don't want that all right that being said let's go check on our fossils let's uh let's actually plant these seeds uh that's why we bought them not to just keep them in our inventory but ladies and gentlemen hopefully you're having a good day hopefully you're liking these the series from all the support i can see people are really enjoying this series which makes uh me happy because it means that you guys don't want this to go anywhere as we can clearly tell we're on episode 51 isn't that awesome and again i, I don't think i've missed a day so this has been 51 days straight of stacks of videos at some time or another that doesn't mean they're <laughs> they weren't really late but hey they were still around um that being said i think i bought enough seeds to create another plot and i think that's what i was talking about last episode i vaguely remember you know it's been a new day i couldn't tell you what i had for dinner last night um let alone tell you oh yeah we're gonna have one extra that's awesome okay so i'm gonna move the scary tree although it's pr pr provided us a lot of light do i have any of these i have four of these uh, cobblestone paths so we'll go over here and make a few more oh awesome we actually have the stuff needed already so we'll grab the rest of the stone and simply do that oh and i didn't forget um I, again i tried to address everything in these videos so that everyone's kind of updated on the same page in case you're not <laughs> it's just a bunch of fossils um in case you don't follow me on instagram or twitter uh which is fine it was just more so that we're all oh there we go um on the same plate page page um and that is someone suggested at least for the uh vlogs is that instead of them being daily that i should try weekly at first because they were letting me know that it's it's time consuming so i do appreciate that comment um obviously uh, that's neat maybe they've done it before or they know someone that's done it and so they're offering this advice which is actually really nice and they didn't have to do that so i do appreciate that um for those that might not have heard or didn't catch this uh, last episode i made a proposal another one i should say which was simply why don't i start vlogging and yeah you would get to see who i am kind of behind the scenes and stuff like that uh if you support that or would want to watch that go ahead and, and again commenting is the biggest way if you can't hit me up on any of the social medias either you don't have an account or you just don't feel like you want that or that's your cup of tea then comment down below i mean you're already here it's simple just type in wes you're you're pretty cool i guess i want to see a video or on the flip side wes you're you're stinky head and i don't want to see you which again it's totally right everyone has an opinion and i guess you're entitled to it but doesn't mean it's right okay huh uh, <laughs> so i've actually been behind the scenes which you couldn't see i've actually been testing out some lighting and some other um kind of like locations where i'd want to film vlogs uh around the house and and outside and i haven't really quite decided yet so tomorrow is going to be a test of inside because i did outside yesterday and the l lighting was nice uh but the biggest option or the biggest obstacle i should say is sound like a adja adjacent sound so like cars or planes flying overhead wind and various other things are actually getting in the way um and i do have a, a lapel or lav mic and i was actually explaining this in the video that whether or not i post it is kind of up to me at this point which is simply it just sits on the person you, you probably see them on tv shows and it kind of helps cut out sound but doesn't do the doesn't sound the best and i do have a shotgun mic and again for those that make videos you'd know what that is but simply it's a very directional mic and in, instead of it being um like wide open kind of like a like a broadcasting mic or the mic i'm using right now which would have what's called a cardio uh yeah cardio pattern 
I think I'm saying that wrong, but it pretty much means heart, whatever the fancy term they use, and that's why I'm thinking cardio, although I don't think that's right. Anyways, it means a heart, and so if you can think about the capsule, and from the center of the capsule, which is just the mic head, for those that might, if I'm talking too technical, is simply like a heart-shaped pattern, and anything in that will be picked up, and it's kind of big, and it's not as small as you might think, and so a lot of background noise gets picked up on it. Like you might hear the dogs barking in, in this microphone, or you might hear my family rum rummaging in the back, or, or stuff like that. That's because this mic has a pretty large surface area to pick up noise. Wow, a shotgun mic is very directional. It's kind of like a laser. Not exact or as fine as a laser, but it, it definitely cuts out a lot of the background noise, more so than this uh, microphone. Although this microphone is a good microphone, don't get me wrong, I'm not hating. But, uh, you know, Rode, hey! Uh, I just just want to let you guys know if you watch my videos that um, I'm 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 your biggest fan right now. You know I have a Rode shotgun mic, which is the little like video mic. I don't have a pro because you know I'd love one. Uh, I have your Rode lavalier mic, and what I'm using to film all my YouTube videos is a Rode NT1. Hey guys, so you know if you love me enough, I could <laughs> I could use a shotgun mic. You know I wish I wish a lot of you would <laughs> follow me on Twitter because then we could like at road mic and be like hey help us out um but i'm just i don't know i'm not on a tangent today i'm just trying to explain things as i kind of do the background work is just kind of how i feel because i just don't want it to get too boring but i think a lot of you i've been in it for the long haul so i think you guys are used to it so i appreciate that you guys you know you don't expect me to keep it 100% entertaining 100% of the time unless you think i am and in that case you're cool um, alright, so, now that I've been rambling for literally half the episode about random things and kind of not doing anything, I guess this is kind of just one of those maintenance episodes, since we finished the big project and so I don't really have much to do. We planted seeds, so we know what's going on there. I would like to polish more fossils, but, uh, my inventory's full as usual, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Maybe we'll talk to Vorlin, because he was saying, like, we got a bunch of points, and so let's see if we got any more for any more of the fossils that we... 40 polished. All right, Vorlin. Here we go, buddy. Oh, goodness. Six new discoveries. Allow me to add them to my records. For this, you have earned 75 Vorlin Encyclopedia points, bringing you to a total of 305. <gasps> Marvelous. 300 points. I have met a few people of s status of their surroundings. Perhaps someday we will manage to catalog the entire island. Oh, what did he just give us? Oh, my gosh. Sweet. He just gave us fancy displays, and these are expensive in the catalog, but they're free here. Okay, cool. That's neat. So we'll put the fishy display in the fishy area. We'll put the... I think these are both bug displays. Small, fancy bug and small, fancy fish. Alright. So we'll put the bug over here. Man, do they stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, only because I can't even walk in tomorrow in the museum. But I guess this is why it's more of a dead episode. Because I need people to, to let me know if they would want it to be creative. And if not, then there's going to be a lot of stone and a lot of money. But hey... I'm willing to do it if either way. So, okay, let's put, let's sell that. Let's sell, no, let's sell this. You know what we can do with a little bit of time we have left is, oh, I can actually put that in since we have an extra bug display. Um, let's go check out, see if the mod windows are actually in the shop. I didn't actually read how to obtain them. So let's go ahead and see if they're in the shop just for us. Um, yeah, openable. Okay, so you just buy them like, whoa, look at that. A ranch bay window. Those are really cool. Openable, too. Heck yeah. Uh, openable. Uh, large openable window. Small openable. And so they're not clear and see-through and openable. Openable. Wow, I've been saying that too much. Which would have been like the icing on the cake. But they are at least openable, so we can at least open them. <laughs> So let's see about, I would imagine this is three, oh man, this thing is tiny. I was expecting it to be like a, usually like on the front, there it is. What does this game, oh, it's trying to put it on the paw tables. Give that back. Okay, I was right, I was expecting this to be at least three wide, because usually these things are really big, and some people like actually like put them in libraries. So how do you open them? Oh, <laughs> that's awesome, you just hit F. Um, You know, and they kind of put pillows on there, and then they read, and... Look at that, guys. I don't know. We'll see about keeping that. Um, that's really cool. So let's put a window in the bathroom. I've been debating about this, but 
it's small enough window where it's not gonna, you know, let everyone know I'm pooping. But, oh, that's backwards. All right, and it isn't even open. You guys ever have high school windows like that? You know, like the teachers that open it and it kind of like half opens. So you couldn't like run out of class with the window. And you know, like they kind of thought about that. They're like, these punk kids would try to ditch class by out going out the window if they, you know, if we let them open all the way. And they're usually like really tall. So like if the wall was right here, they weren't like at perfect level where you could see them. They were always higher or open from the top. So it was... It was more like they opened out in some, and then in some classrooms, only the top set of windows would open. So again, you're like, unless I'm jumping, I'm not going to open these windows. So let's test the, uh, let's open the, this one. This one's three. Let's just throw it on the ground. Oh, can I put on the leaf? Dang it, I was just trying to do it just for testing purposes. All right, let's make a makeshift, like, wall. So it'd be like that, and then we'd pick up that and break everything along the way, but I don't think anyone's surprised. Okay. Let's check this. Look at that. That's awesome. I'm really, I like these a lot. I just wish they were see-through. So maybe we can contact the mod author. Maybe I can see about writing him an email or her, whoever. Um, and be like, hey, here's a suggestion. Make them, make them see-through. I don't know. Would you guys think about that? That'd be cool. I thought so. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, it looks like this episode, <laughs> I said it was going to be exciting and I'm on the edge of my seat, and I really am. It's just the fact that I'm, it's late and I'm just kind of tired, but I wanted to make sure I gave you guys a video. Um, that being said, be sure to tune in next episode where we'll know more about whether or not people would want me to make a creative, um, uh, creative version of this museum or if they want me to do it legitly uh, if it's legit then we'll be busy for the next couple of episodes obviously and taking again we'll follow the same schedule we'll do like three videos on and a video off where we just take care of stuff around the house and then we'll do it again and then maybe we'll start another project just so it's not a bunch of building but just thank you for all those that have been watching this video if you're new feel free to subscribe and and comment down below uh speaking of down below in the descriptions are all the links to my social medias where i post i comment and then i follow people and we laugh and we have a good time um give you an idea before this episode needs to end i was thinking about putting a bigger wing in the back so it would kind of branch out meaning we'd have to rip up this table and, and move it but then we would move we'd put probably like eight blocks from this already big size so it'd be i think this is 23 so we'd move out on five blocks on either side uh making it so i said 23 so i'd make it 33 and then we'll go um we'll wrap up to the front making it kind of like uh, one of these, but on the e either side, making a, I guess an E would be the biggest, uh, you know, if you can think about it, E on its side, it would be the easiest way to explain it, uh, right now. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in, thank you for subscribing, thank you for being cool people, and until next time, keep it real.